Hi and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Tengku Ahmad Daniel and welcome to our project presentation. It is an honor to be here today to present our group project on CSC 12C. Before we begin, we would like to express our sincere gratitude to you, lecturer Paramuna Benti Ghazali, for your guidance and support throughout this project. Your expertise and valuable feedback have been instrumental in shaping our work, and we are truly grateful for the opportunity to learn from you. Without further ado, we would like to share with you our final project on automated data system. For the, auto for the automated teller system, we will be given for assignment CSC 126 of fundamental of algorithm and computer problem solving. Now, this is an overview that we're going to for the next slide later on, starting with about us. For the about us, we're going to introduce the Automated Teller System project and our team of five dedicated developers. Our project aims to provide an easy and efficient way for a bank customer to manage their account and perform various transactions without having to visit a bank teller. With the rise of online banking and mobile device, we believe that an automated system like ours is crucial for improving customer experience and streamlining banking operation. Now, we go for the, our best team into introduction. We face several challenges during the development process, such as ensuring the system security and the reliability and testing the various functionalities. However, we were able to overcome these challenges through close collaboration and rigorous testing. Overall, we are proud of the automated teller system project and the hard work that our team has put into it. We believe that it will greatly benefit bank customers and improving their banking experience. Thank you for considering our project. Now, to introduce by one of each of us, we're going to start with our group leader. My name is Mohamed Faizuddin and my student ID 20226282252. Hi, my name is Mohamed Adam Istakil. My student ID is 20228553314. And my name is Tengku Ahmad Daniel. 20226166874 is my matrix number. And my name is Muhammad Izul Hazi. My metric number is 20224969912. My name is Muhammad Rashidan. 20226247822. Thank you so much. Now we go for the project summary. Computers are a valuable asset that offer us with guidance and control in order to attain our objective. Automated information systems have replaced manual process in the way we manage money in our bank accounts. Automated teller machines ATM, are widely used in Malaysia, making it easy for consumers to check, transfer or withdraw cash. Our project, the automated teller system, deals with the information of the user bank account allowing user to check their account detail and execute numerous operations such as money transfer and bill payment without having to stand in line at the counters. Transaction require the user account number and PIN numbers for security reasons. Now, thank you. Now we're going for the objective. We have five main objectives we're trying to achieve. For the first one, for the first one, to give users easy access to their bank account information and transaction without requiring them to visit a bank branch or wait in line at a counter. And for the second one, to lessen the possibility of error in financial transaction management by automating the process. Third is to automate the process of money management and transmission in a secure and dependent manner. 
POI to offer you the variety of financial services such as money transfer, bill payment, and other tasks. And for the fifth one is to increase the efficiency of bank operation while decreasing the workload of bank employees. Now, let's go for the simplification of the objective we have seen before. The automatic teller system was created for... First, to record user ID number and password that has to be put in the requirement system. Second, to check the account detail in the account. Next, to count the money to deposit in the user account. Four, to count the money to withdraw. Five, to count the money to pay a bill. Six, to count the money to transfer to other accounts. And the last one, to print the transaction receipt. Now, we go for the analysis and design. Analysis problem involves breaking down a problem into its component and identify the input, process, and expected output. Now, let's go for the first input. The input is the information or data that is provided to the system. In the case of an automated teller system, the input includes user ID, password, number account, transaction amount, and the type of transaction like withdrawal, deposit, transfer, or bill payment. The process refers to the step or action that the system takes to process the input data. In an automatic teller system, the process includes verifying users' credentials, updating account balance, and generating transaction receipt. Expect output. The expect output is the result of the system process. In an automated teller system, the expect output includes the update account balance, transaction receipt, and any error message if the transaction cannot be complete. Now, let's go for the overview of what we have for design. So, we have view of flowchart and pseudocode, if you can see over here. And this is for flowchart and pseudocode of objective number one, where we have to record user ID number and password that has to be put in the requirement system. Like we mentioned before, we have about seven objectives. Now, for the second objective, Now, we go for the source code. So, this is our source code. Most of the code is was making by our team leader. It is a Faizuddin. And that's the end of our code. Thank you. Now, let's see the sample output. For the sample output, at the first, after you open up the terminal and then you run the code, it will then pop out the loading screen where it says the Welcome Capital One Bank, which is our company names, and will tell the user to wait for a few seconds before the system reactivate and then after the then after the bank was activated it will tell the user either to input the choice of language such as over here we have two different languages that can be input either in bahasa or english and you can also put it in non-capital letters and it will still be verified 
and this is the sample output video. And then let's go for the is it the program. Once you is it the program, the receipt will then comes out and tells you what you have done during the process of bank, which is we have done about two of deposit, one of we withdrawing the money, one of payment bill, and the last one, which is the transferring money into others account and it will also include our balance of our bank account that's it for our sample output so so in conclusion we would like to thank you all for taking the time to attend our presentation today. We hope that we were able to convey the significance of our project and share our insight with you in an informative and engaging manner. Our team has put in a great deal of effort and we are grateful for the opportunity to showcase our work. So, we also appreciate the feedback and question that you have provided us and we will take them into consideration as we continue to refine our project. Once again, thank you for being here with us today and we hope that you found our presentation both enlightening and thought-provoking. Thank you so much and goodbye. See ya!